Hi everyone, it's Jenny here from Texo. Today I'll guide you on how to use CSVs in workflows. We'll create a sample workflow consisting of LinkedIn scrape profile and auto connect automations. Let's get started. First, creating the workflow. We would name the workflow CSV workflow test. And then we would add the CSV automation. On the top right corner, select integrations, then CSV, and choose get data from CSV. Next, upload the CSV file you want to use in your input. A very important step that you want to have in mind in formatting your CSV file is that each column needs to have a header. This allows you to map each column correctly to the specific automation fields. As you can see, each one of my columns here has a header. Now that we have made sure that the CSV file is compliant and has headers, we can add it to our node. Next, we will configure the scrape profile node. We go to automation and we choose LinkedIn and scrape profile. Here, you can map the profile URLs with the respective CSV headers. Double click on the node to configure it and ensure that the profile URLs are correctly mapped. In this case, the header that I want to use for profile URL is called profile link. I select that and I'm all good to go. And last, we will set up the scrape profile node. Pardon, we will set up the auto connect node. I will search for it here. We add it to the workflow. So finally, we need to set up the last node, the LinkedIn auto connect. Select the profile URL. It takes a little bit of time to load, but you can select the profile URL here. And then if we want to send a message, we can also add it here. This node will use the URLs from your CSV file to auto connect with LinkedIn profiles. One thing I would like to mention is understanding your automation limits in workflows. In workflows where you can have more than one automation, it's important to remember that the lowest automation limit applies. For example, if your CSV file contains 100 rows, but your scrape profile automation limit is 10 and your auto connect automation limit is 20, the lowest limit, which is 10, will apply automatically. This is designed for convenience and productivity, as applying the highest limit for each automation would result in lengthy processing times and it will reduce productivity. And that's it! Using CSV in workflows with Texo is a powerful way to automate and streamline your tasks. Explore these options and see how they can enhance your workflow. Thanks for watching! See you in the next one!